What is noise? In digital photography, it is an optical distortion similar to grain in film, where blotches of foreign color, often having a purple or magenta hue, spoil it. You can also get noise in sound recording. Now I've got the noise reduction on. I'm going to turn it off. Now if you can hear unwanted background noise to my recorded voiceover, that is audio noise. I'll put the noise reduction back on now. In photography, it is more common when light is low, requiring a long exposure or high ISO. Briefly, it is caused by a lower signal-to-noise ratio. You have been looking at this photograph of St. Augustine's Church Kilburn for some time. Have you spotted the noise? I'll enlarge the centre. Now you will see it. The most common situations that cause noise are small sensors, made worse incidentally if the pixel count is high, low light, long shutter speeds, high ISO values. We can add heavy shadows when corrected in post-production. The image of St. Augustine's had a number of these characteristics that can cause noise. An early four-thirds sensor, it was taken in 2007, incidentally, and the sensor had 10 million pixels. Low light, of course. I'd bumped the ISO up to 800, but the shutter speed was still a fifteenth of a second. Noise can also be caused by lightening shadows or dark areas of an image in post-production. The extreme dynamic range between window and general interior of Cartmel Priory is impossible to manage in a single shot. I exposed for the window to maintain detail, but now the interior is far too dark expose for the interior and what happens yes the window will be overexposed beyond redemption look closely at the choir stalls because i lightened shadows in post-production they have now acquired noise the outcome could have been different with hdr here are some key points to observe Keep the ISO low. Normally, I don't go above 200. In low light, use a tripod or an image stabilizer when hand-holding. Smartphones are more prone to noise because of their smaller sensors, but this may not concern most smartphone users. Early four-thirds and micro four-thirds cameras were not always good in reducing noise. This has now improved, even with increased pixel counts. Use long shutter speeds only when necessary, such as blurring movement. Having said that, I prefer to use a longer shutter speed than increasing the ISO. Avoid heavy shadows. Use a wide aperture prime lens for shorter shutter speeds or to avoid increasing the ISO. Some are as wide as f1.2. The widest aperture on many zoom lenses is only f4 or 3.5 if you're lucky and variable aperture, a difference of at least two stops. Some cameras have noise reduction available in the menu. If saving to RAW, noise reduction in post-production may be better, as it has more flexibility and errors can be corrected. Avoiding noise requires technique and experience, often benefiting from making mistakes first. 
For me, noise is a problem inside churches and stately homes. A long exposure is often required, complicated by having to cope with a high dynamic range and heavy shadows. As mentioned already, I prefer a long shutter speed to whacking up the ISO. Olympus cameras and lenses have excellent image stabilizers. The OMD EM1 Mark II, which I often use with the 12-100 Pro lens, have corrections up to 6.5 stops for hand holding, essential when tripods are not permitted. For images having a high dynamic range, I spot meter near a highlight, allowing shadows to be underexposed, but I have to be careful that I don't add noise when lightening them. I use this technique at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. In post-production, I used Adobe Lightroom, but it wasn't necessary to suppress noise, and the photograph was accepted for amateur photographer. Images with a high dynamic range requiring long exposures are more difficult to correct. This was a problem at St. Mungo's in Glasgow, solved by looking for a composition that avoids or reduces these issues. When dealing with noise, a quality camera is superior to a smartphone. But with improving technology, who knows? The curse of noise could become history. Noise should not be a problem in good light with a balanced dynamic range, even for a smartphone. If that is not the case, it might be time to upgrade your camera.